but I am coming back and making a really impressive comeback that people are talking about all around the. I am coming back. People were shopping me at the grocery store the other day, and they're like, "Did you gain two games in Sunbelt Pick'em?" I was like, "Yes, that's me." You're correct. (laughs) All right, (laughs) Louisiana, Arkansas State. Uh, I'm taking Arkansas State here. Upset. What? Upset special. Yeah. I think Louisiana is a gigantic fraud, even though they beat South Alabama. I think Arkansas State isn't even a team. Butch Jones has them close to bowl eligibility. I think they should extend him for lifetime contract. All right. Coastal ODU. I'm going Louisiana. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Coastal Carolina. They don't have Grayson McCall. Um. Is he out for season? It they're talking about it in a way that makes it seem like he's not going to play for them again. Um, but Guest was really good last week. I think they're scrappy. They have good receivers that I think will be able to pressure ODU. I think this will be a fun game to watch. But I'll go with Coastal. Uh, Coastal is a one point favorite yeah. on the road at SB Ballard Stadium in Norfolk, Virginia. Give me ODU. Yeah. All right. With the Monarchs making a push at a real chance to win the East. ULM, Southern Miss. I'm going ULM. I'll take Southern Miss. This is what one are of those, you doing? This is one of those games that I think the loser should have to go to Conference USA. Um, the issue with that is that they'd probably win the league. <laughs> so it's not quite the, the punishment you'd expect. But um, both these teams suck. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah, they do. Southern Miss is a three-point favorite. Yeah, they'll win it. They'll, they're a great team. Still hunting for their first. Both teams hunting for their first. <laughs> they're, win this they're being <laughs> hunted. <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> Georgia Southern Texas State. <laughs> this is a great game. Great matchup here. The East has really dominated some of these. I think this one could be a shootout for days. I think Texas State wins this one. I think Texas State bounces back. GJ Kinney. Gets the boys fired up, and they win a, a really fun one. Yeah, I agree. I think Texas State knows that they're playing for their kind of Sun Belt Championship lives here. Uh, and they're two-point home dogs. The over-under is set at 68-and-a-half. An absolutely electric game that's going to be going down at San Marcos, Texas. Give me the Bobcats of Texas State to win that. Marshall App State. I'm going to go with Marshall. Oh, I was going to go with Marshall. Did you know and, Marshall is one and three in the Sun Belt? Yeah, they've been playing really bad. Coastal blew them out last weekend. I'm going to go with App State here. I think the home crowd and the fact that you picked Marshall make it a clear pick for me. I also think Sean Clark, probably around this time, getting the idea that this he's got to win some. I think he, but the issue is Charles Huff. I've seen some Marshall fans who want Charles Huff out, which feels like an overreaction to some a huge overreact. They just don't have a quarterback. Like let's yeah. They still have an elite level defense. Guys will be coaching power five in a few years. Sean Clark, I don't think will be doing that, but I'm going to, I'm going to take app state anyway. Okay. This is a lot of differences. (laughs) Yes, I know. (laughs) You went for the straight (laughs) chaos theory here in week 10 of the Sunbelt weekly pickup. What about the boys? The boys, JMU, Georgia state, who do you got? I'll take JMU. What's I think the score? they're going to, I think I had 31 21 in the round table, something like that. I think they'll win this one. I think it'll be fairly competitive. Um, but I just think, I don't know. I feel like JMU's got a better football team than Georgia State. I agree. I think Georgia State gives JMU an early scare, but I think the Dukes put everything away. Second half adjustments, whatever buzzword you want to put in here, JMU wins 35 17. Yeah, that's good stuff. My boys, South Alabama, my pick, took an early 7-0 lead. <laughs> <laughs> They're I starting swear. quarterback because Carter Bradley is out. Lopez has 18 yards. Webb has five carries for 18 yards. Not sure how they scored that touchdown with all I'm seeing is not a lot of yards. Troy sneaky good. Like if Troy and Jamie, you played again, I'd be terrified. South Alabama low-key is on pace to be the highest scoring game Troy's allowed in Sunbelt play. That's true. They already surpassed what Arkansas State was able to do. (laughs) All right. 